It was good, man. We got AMAC in the hot seat. Hmm. It's been a minute since uh, we sat down and got bro and the motherfuckers in the interview. How you been, bro? All is well, my G. All is well. See, last time I interviewed you, uh, you was talking about, you was linking up with Fact Joe. Um, what was that? All it was in and out. I forgot the name of it. Take me in. Take, take me, me in. Out. Take me out. Yeah. So you was telling us how you got. You know what I'm saying, bumped with Fat Joe. He hosted this year for you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So like, now that that month been out, how many months now? Shit. Uh, going on probably like about five months. Five four, months. Four, four, five months. Five months now, cause we going into June. Oh yeah. So, so like right at the top of the year. So like, uh, now that it been out like five months. Yeah. How do you like the reaction to it, like to your fans, people that follow you? It's just now starting to happen, like it's the actual. Up. I wouldn't even call it fans like that, like just people really recognizing now that a nigga really be rapping this shit. Like now, I come up in that kind of conversation and shit like that. At first, it was just like, I was like, oh okay, you drop some shit. Okay, that's just like any other nigga dropping some shit. But as I started having more content and dropping them videos, them visuals, and steady promoting myself and steady pushing with it and steady staying consistent and always they get to see me in the booth. Now I go, I go to the studio, I might go live and I chop it up with a nigga and might let you hear some exclusive shit. You seeing me do it. You seeing me, you know what I'm saying, really do that. Now so, people take it a little bit serious now. So like, tell us about um, your reaction when people found out, they're like, oh shit, Fat Joe hosting this nigga tape, like when this shit dropped down and he on the, he all through the mixtape, you know what I'm saying, you hear his voice all over the songs and shit, like, is it a different type of um, energy you getting from people now that you fucking with like an icon like Fat Joe? I think it was more of a surprise. Like a lot of niggas was telling me shit like that ain't that ain't uh that ain't normal for work from where we from, you know what I'm saying, where we at in Saginaw, Michigan type deal to have somebody really you know what I'm saying, 'cause he did when he did that sit down in his living room and he personally shot shouted me out and shit like that, like that's that that's that official shit. That that's love, right? That nigga ain't gotta do that. You know what I'm saying? Share a nigga on the story and shit, all that. that. That's cool. Being recognized, but like, anybody can really, you know what I'm saying? Probably get a hold of a nigga and shoot him some bread and a nigga throw you on his story or whatever. But when a nigga sit down and have, have an actual recording video and all he talking about is you, like, nigga, that's, that's, that's next level. Like, yeah, that's, that's the shit I like right there. That's, I need that type of energy. Yeah, I so, like so like um, once it dropped, like what was um, what was he doing with that? As far as the uh, mixtape when it dropped, or was it an album? Oh, he he showed love. He he DM me, told me, you know what I'm saying. I had sent it to him, and he was already on it. You know what I'm saying, like. Or he already knew what to do with it. Yeah, he already he already was on it. Like yeah, so yeah, he, so, he watched he watched the first uh, interview. Oh, he did. Yeah, that's good. What he yeah. say about it? Same shit that he was talking about on the live, like nigga, that he talking some real shit type shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, far as like him, like it seemed like he fucked with you on a whole total different level, not just like anybody just doing music. He fucked with you on some. This nigga got it, or I fuck with this nigga. He a real motherfucker. He even said that in the um on the on the when live. I, got off, I, yeah. heard, I heard about it, then I had to go back and watch it. I'm like, I ain't yeah. know he was still talking. I just. Got off, I, like I said, I was getting it tatted up and shit. But you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. He, uh, I just spoke to him uh, like three days ago. Three days ago. Oh, yeah, so he yeah, really. So, you know what I'm saying? He, he double, you know what I'm saying? He doubled back. And we chopped it up. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He just told me, you know what I'm saying? He, I got his support type of shit. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Whatever I got going on, like, just let him know. And he go support it. So, you know what I'm saying? He helped. Help a nigga get seen based upon his platforms type shit. And that's out of love, man. Like, 
nigga just double back. Nigga ain't got to do that. I seen him, you know what I'm saying, promote a lot of different niggas. But before he started promoting niggas and he made the official post of promoting anybody, if you look at the dates from when I was kicking it with him and when he started doing all of that shit, he wasn't on that like that at all. Like, so I was around the, the very beginning of that shit. And that's what I was happy about. That was at the same time when uh, Jones dropped that very first viral mix, uh, uh, quarantine mixtapes. I was on Jim Jones' very first quarantine mixtape. I just didn't promote it because I had too much shit going on trying to get ready for Take Me In and Take Me Out. I'm like, I got my own thing going on. Yeah. And then I got this shit going on with Jones. I had this shit with Jones already set up months before I even got in contact with Fat Joe. But I didn't know the stipulations of when it was coming on. Like he, They hit me up randomly one day on the live. Like, the lady called me like, hey, like... We live right now, and it's like a lot of people watching, and uh, they playing your music, and they turn it up. They was playing, uh, what's up? She was like, uh, I'm finna send you the link. You want to show your face at least? I'm like, all right. Also, real out. They almost taking a shit. <laughs> you hear me? Like, look down, like New York, like, like you know what I'm saying? And I, all right. Got to go to the bathroom, wash my hands and shit, come in there, I move my, uh, move some things off the, uh, the, the, the dining room table and shit, and I got the link from old girl, and I jumped on the live, it's everybody in there, the girls dancing, and they had, he had like three different hosts, they was all women, and they on the live, and I didn't even get a chance, like, I, I was upset, because I didn't even get a chance to promote it to the people that know me, my family, the people that support me, type shit, so I'm in there dolo. Everybody else got they people from their cities and everything in there. I'm on the live, and they listening to what's up. It's almost at the end of the song, and they like, hey, Mac, how you feel? Like, you on the first ever uh, Quarantine Studios mixtape. You know what I'm saying? How you feel? I'm like, shit. Mm -hmm. I, feel, I feel good, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Jim Jones. Shout out to Capone. That's, that's his mans and shit. Like, I talked to Capone. And most of them just like, shit, I fuck with everything they doing. Tell Jones I appreciate him and everything. And I don't know if I messed the vibe up or nothing, but I'm like, shit. They dropped his quarantine uh, underground uh, mixtape, the first ever uh, underground mixtape as far as for underground artists with a major artist on the same day that Take Me In and Take Me Out came out. So in, in my mind, all I could tell them was, hey, yeah, I fuck with Jones, woo, woo, just show my love up front. And I'm like, hey. But I just dropped Take Me In and Take Me I'm on there promoting my shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> like, but, but the song that, that was on his, uh, the Quarantine Studios tape, you know what I'm saying, was What's Up, which is on my actual project. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he just promoted it through that too. So I was like, shit, I showed my love. But like, hey, I'm on promo for Take Me In and Take Me Out right now. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? And, um, uh, Thank you for the opportunity. And I was like, I'll get at y'all. And I logged off. Yeah. Like, that shit was, it was kind of messed up. But it was like, I didn't have time to even put my people on the Zip app to, know what I'm saying, get in here and show, be here for me. So I'm here by myself. Like, I felt naked in that. You know what I'm saying? So I said what I had to say about what I had going on. And I got off. Like, y'all just dropped this on the same day I dropped my actual very first project ever in life. To the world, like, bro, I'm on my shit. Like, I ain't got no disrespect, and then I fuck with them niggas. That nigga showed me mad love. Got nothing but respect for that man and what yep. they got going on. But that so, just like, y'all still talk it. after that? I, I just spoke to Capone a couple times. Oh yeah, so yeah, definitely. I just spoke to Capone a couple times. All right, yeah, so it was just making sure with no hard feelings. <laughs> no, I doubt it. I doubt it. I highly doubt that. <laughs>